My name is Maureen Taylor. I was born in Detroit, which is weird, but I actually spent 99.9% uh, .9 of my life uh, growing up in Ontario, so down near Windsor is where I grew up. Um, my first career was as a journalist, as a lot of people know, so I spent um, 25 years, most of it at the CBC, but also at TV Ontario. And the latter part of my uh, journalism career was spent as the medical health reporter for CBC's The National, both radio and TV. And uh, that was where I guess I sort of started to wonder if I'd made the wrong career choice and maybe I should have gone into medicine. Um, and one day this PA program, physician assistant program, uh, memo came across my desk as a story idea from McMaster. I had no idea what physician assistants were. Um, and rather than do a story on it, I actually ended up applying to the program. At the time, I thought of it as a way to go back to school to learn more about medicine, and that would make me a better reporter. I also needed to get away from the CBC or I was going to kill someone. So I was 48 years old. And um, I took a two-year leave of absence to do the program. But when I was graduating, I discovered that things were, morale was still really low at the CBC, and my friends encouraged me not to come back. So I went out and practiced as a PA, and I'm still doing it 10 years later. Fantastic. And um, what drew you to the PA profession specifically? Well, for me, this, this doesn't sound like a really... Um, a wonderful reason for doing it. But as I said, I actually didn't expect to practice as a PA. It was a way to get a mini medical education. Um, and for me, as somebody with a background in journalism, history, political science, English, I wouldn't have had the science prerequisites to get into a program like uh, the one at uh, the U of T, for example, or at University of Manitoba. So really, McMaster's approach to medicine, the way they approach medical school, and, and then the PA school, was really the only one that could have worked for me. Um, and at 48, you're certainly not going to start all over again, going back for science uh, prerequisites and, and trying to get into med school. So that's what drew me to it. What keeps me there, I think, is the idea that I can provide this kind of hands-on, patient care, very similar to what physicians uh, do, but I do it in conjunction with the entire medical team. And uh, I really enjoy that. I, I approach my job as I would a journalism story, where suddenly I would be handed an assignment and I had to research everything about that particular story that day. So I know how to go out and research information and gather it quickly and assimilate it. I'm never be going to become the expert in that particular uh, issue on that day, um, but I can say that I'm becoming very comfortable, at least with infectious diseases now, after doing it for almost five years. And how was your experience being part of the inaugural class at McMaster? Yeah, that was just amazing. I, I mean, to, um, to be one of that, that class, I can still see everybody's faces sitting around doing the, the problem-based learning. and. Uh, Dr. John Cunnington, who was just so great to have been able to have him be um, not only the director of the program, but providing a lot of the learning for us at the time. It was wonderful. I'm still really good friends with uh, a lot of the people in my class. I just went on a trip to California and Arizona with a few of them. So um, it's always, it's nice to be groundbreaking uh, like that. I think there were hiccups, of course, that have been worked out since. Um, but yeah, those were some good years for me. Mm -hmm. And what did you feel your medical journalism background brought to your education and practice of medicine? Well, let's put it this way. Uh, asking patients uh, personal and uncomfortable questions is not a problem for me. I mean, that's what I did as a journalist. So I think that I have good communication skills. I think I deliver news to patients both bad and good news, in, in a way that's accessible to them, because I always had to do that as a medical reporter. I had to take complicated studies in journals and then break them down into bits and pieces that an audience would understand. So I think that that's all good. I think I'm used to working uh, quickly to a deadline, and I think I'm used to working as part of a team, because especially in television journalism, you've got a cameraman, uh, you've got a, a, a producer usually, maybe a writer on the national desk, you've got an assignment editor, so you're all trying to work together to make the best story possible, and that's what we have to do as well uh, as PAs.
Mm-hmm.